I just, I'm, of course, very uh, striking na present in the two former health secretaries. Um, may I know the specific roles of the two of you? Or were you part of the advisory team? Um, actually, since kailan sec tayo unang February, March. I think since February or March last year, we have been doing very regular briefings with them already. Um, kabahagi siya sa preparation ng ano ba yung pwedeng magawa ng aming opisina. Um, pag nakita natin, meron tayo mga sectoral representatives. It's not just the doctors yung tinatanong natin, pati mga epidemiologists. Hindi lang makapunta ngayon yung, mga, yung iba, pati public health consultants. Halimbawa si Dr. RJ has been with us since April. Um, he's very much a part of our Bayanihan, Bayanihan e-consulta. Uh, yung mga representatives ng, ng nurses, ng urban poor, ng business, ng agri, ng education, uh, BHW, kailangan kinukonsulta sila kasi um, kailangan, kailangan yung natatanong yung lahat na stakeholders na, na affected. Kaya pag tinignan nyo yung programa namin, uh, merong education, merong, in fact, merong transport, merong uh, negosyo, Merong employment, nandito si Attorney Sunny Matula, um, very much involved in the advocacy for labor. So, um, yung opisina naman namin, uh, very, very regularly, very regularly, nagkakaroon kami ng briefings. And yung COVID plan, hindi ito galing sa akin, pero galing ito sa consultation with, with the many different sectors. Uh, last na po to the two former health secretaries, um, what made you decide? to join VP Robedo's uh, team uh, among other uh, presidential <laughs> aspirants? Um, ako ang sagot ko dyan is uh, we are only too happy to uh, join VP Robredo in crafting a good health agenda. But we are also open to other people who want a good health agenda and may need our help. So we are not exclusive to VP, we are working for a good health agenda. For, for me, it's leadership. So, um, ako personally, I think si VP Robredo, you know, has the qualities for leadership in uh, pushing the agenda forward. And I say that because, um, ano siya eh, tinitignan niya lahat ng mga detalye. So, a leader really ha has to understand yung mga details. Eh. Uh, even if uh, there are people that are working on the details, kailangan tinatanong niya yung mga detalye na yun. I think ang situation ngayon is that madami sa mga tao sa taas, hindi nila naintindihan yung detalye. Uh, and um, importante yun, lalo la kung Secretary of Health, kailangan naintindihan mo yung detalye, kailangan alam mo paano kumikilos yung mga tao mo. Tapos kailangan nakaka-work across ka eh, sa mga ibang mga sectors. So talagang mabigat yung trabaho ng isang leader sa, sa gobyerno. So for me, nag-umpisa yan sa pinakamataas. Although, isang ayon rin ako sa sinabi ni, ano, ni um, Secretary Cabral na we give our advice, maski sino. Okay, pero ako personally, uh, I will uh, support uh, VP Lenny. Saka ano naman to ha, um, parang to clarify, yung mga tinatanong namin, mga sinasanggunian namin ng mga tao, hindi naman namin muna tinatanong kung ako ba yung tutulungan yung pangulo. Uh, sa amin, hindi, hindi yun question, wala sa kulay. Uh, pag expert ka sa field, ano, palagay namin, we will benefit from, from your expertise. At talagang tatanungin ka namin kahit, kahit, uh, wala kayong commitment o iba yung tinutulungan. Thank you po.